Hello and welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to get familiar with one of the tools that is providing by the UiPath. Okay, so the tool name is UiPath Diagnostic Tool. Okay, so in this video let us understand what is this tool and what are the uses of this tool and from where we can find this uh, particular tool. Okay, so what is UiPath Diagnostic Tool? So it is a standalone utility enabling you to better collect and preview diagnostic info which is then packaged and can be sent to our technical support team to help you solve potential problems. Okay. So uh, if you have installed UiPath and if you are uh, continuously using the UiPath in your machine for different automations, you may have faced different issues. So it can be from the studio uh, or it can be from the robot or it can be from the orchestrator due to different restrictions in our system you may have faced different issues while doing the automation right so what we will be doing we will have to contact our technical support team to resolve those issues right so one solution is they will have to go to each and every uh, logs and they need to identify from where we are getting the issues right so in order to combine all the logs and be diagnosing the issue what uh, UiPath has done is they created a tool which is having a bundle of collectors okay so using that collectors UiPath will collect all the logs from different uh, sources like uh, uh, if you need to get the logs from studio it will collect the uh, studio so even uh, the project uh, wise uh, logs also it will collect or if it need to collect the logs from orchestrator or if it need to collect uh, uh, logs related to any of the uh, registries that is in our system so all those things uh, this diagnostic tool can collect and it can bundle to a zip file and that uh, zip file we can share to the technical support team okay so it will save the time to collect the uh, logs from different sources and uh, as we can export that to a single uh, zip file this technical support team can easily go through these uh, logs and understand from where this technical issue is happening in the machine okay so that is the purpose of this UiPath diagnostic tool so it comes bundled with a variety of collectors to help you gather just the information you need moreover you can save selected collectors as a profile to be used later on information can be collected from studio robot robot js activities and orchestrator okay so in UiPath diagnostic tool different profiles are available so uh, you can choose the profiles based on your uh, requirement so I will show you what are the different profiles and what are the different characters that is available in UiPath Diagnostic Tool. And uh, if you want to uh, know more about this uh, UiPath Diagnostic Tool, you can uh, also refer this particular uh, reference which I have provided in the screen. Okay, so what is profile in UiPath Diagnostic Tool? So a profile is a set of characters specialized in gathering specific information depending on the issues you have so uh, here you can see we have uh, included four profiles that is studio bar robot bar activities issue that is one profile and another profile is orchestrator issue and another profile is empty profile and the last one is custom location right so suppose if you are getting an issue that is based on a studio bar robot bar uh, activities what you can do is you can choose the profile and if you choose the profile and if you uh, continue uh, the selection it will ask you to choose the select uh, connectors okay so even inside the profile also you can choose different connectors which can help you to add uh, some new logs or if you don't want to go to that particular log you can remove that also from the uh, collection okay so that is the purpose of this uh, profile so by default we have some uh, profile that that is providing by the UiPath so it will help to easily get the uh, different collectors to uh, collect the data or if you want to do a customization and if you want to create a uh, custom profile means that is also possible in UiPath Diagnostic Tool. Okay, so a profile is a set of characters specialized in gathering specific information depending on the issues you have. So it totally depends on the issue that you are facing, you have to choose the profile. Okay, so studio bar robot bar activities issues gather information about studio robot or activities this profile comes with several connectors enabled by default okay so uh, the collectors are enabled by default suppose if you want to disable few of the collectors you can uh, uh, disable that particular collectors from the selection what is orchestrator issue get this information about your connection to orchestrator this profile comes with several collectors enabled by default what is empty profile 
this profile does not come with any selected uh, collectors here is uh, where you can create custom profiles with a desired collector to use later on like suppose if you don't want a pre uh, predefined uh, profile and you want to customize a profile as per your need you can go for empty profile okay so there won't be any uh, collectors uh, enabled by default so you can choose the collectors and you can save it for the later use what is a custom location gathers info based on a dot uh, json profile you provide you can select the collectors to be used okay suppose if you want to uh, collect the uh, data or the logs from some particular uh, location you will have to uh, select the dot json file uh, and it will uh, gather all the uh, uh, details regarding the particular uh, project okay So uh, to get this UI path diagnostic tool, uh, what you have to do is you have to go to start, search for UI path. Okay, so here you can see UI path diagnostic tool. So if you have installed this UI path studio in your machine, this particular tool will get automatically installed in your uh, system. Okay, and if you cannot find this UI path diagnostic tool, what you can do is you can go to resource center in automation cloud platform. And from there, you can uh, download the UiPath uh, diagnostic tool. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. Okay, so this is the uh, first page of a UiPath diagnostic tool. Okay, so here you can see a start is this start collecting data using the option under the select profile section. So these are the profile that is currently available uh, in my machine. So I can choose studio robot or activities issues or I can choose empty profile or if I want to choose from a uh, folder I, I need to choose the dot json file okay suppose if I am going for this particular uh, profile click on next and here we have one more thing that is import diag uh, diagnosis data okay like suppose if you have already uh, exported any data and if you want to see that again you can import that a particular uh, data here again and you can visualize that click on next okay here it will show you the configuration add parameter for collecting diagnostic data from your machine deselect a collector to exclude it from the collection process okay so for that particular uh, profile which i have selected uh, the uipa diagnostic tool has uh, selected few of the selectors by uh, default okay so if i don't want to uh, include one particular collector from this uh, configuration i just need to disable this particular uh, collector okay and if i want to add some new character means just click on this particular one and i can choose the character that is available in the uipa diagnostic tool okay so once that is done click on collect okay so if you click on collect what it is happening is it is collecting all the data from the collectors okay so we have uh, selected different collectors right so it will uh, collect all the data from uh, different sources from our system and it will bundle that to a uh, file okay so let it complete the collection of data so review collected data by expanding or collapsing collectors only check the collectors are exported okay okay so now you can see uh, the tool has collected uh, the data from different collectors so here you can see registry info details are the screen info details are the, so what is the resolution and all and uh, uh, the application logs are the what is the computer info so instead of going uh, to a command prompt and checking all these details or to properties and checking these details uh, this collector itself is getting or collecting all the data which is related to uh, the installation okay so we can choose different collectors and based on that selection uh, the tool will collect the data okay so that part is done and we can see uh, the character wise uh, data also and if you don't want to uh, select one uh, particular collector for exporting the data what you can do is you can uh, just disable that and click on next okay then you can see what are the uh, collectors that is included in this particular export the following collectors have gathered data from the uh, machine click the export button to create an archive or cancel to close the diagnostic tool okay so if i want to export this particular uh, logs uh, from the collector what i need to do is just click on export 
okay so it will create a dot zip file and you can choose the uh, location as per your need okay so just to save it add the export file to the contact technical to create a uh, ticket okay so start over so that's all so that's what you have to do so the uh, logs has uh, collected in our folder and if you want to send that to the technical support team you can send it via a mail or through any sharepoint or some uh, different uh, sources so this is what you have to do if you are facing some you know, issues with the application or uh, if you are facing some anonymous uh, issues with the uh, automation using uipath okay so this tool will easily help to diagnose uh, uh, the issue by collecting logs from different sources and to properly send that to the technical support team okay so that's that's all for uh, today's session so this is a short video uh, which explains what is a uipath a diagnostic tool okay so hope this video is clear and uh, useful for you please uh, uh, share this video to your friends uh, please like the video comment your opinions and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching thank you bye